Okay, let's see if we can figure out a way to include those categorical variables in our regression. So we've done our work for the previous regression. I'm going to move these uh, charts out of the way so we have a little bit more room to work with. Okay, so let's say we want to look at smoker and turn that into a numeric variable. Children, uh, age, uh, BMI, charges, ooh, and sex. Oh, I was worried there. I thought I was missing a column. All right, what about region? All right, so the one thing we do know is that Excel's regression tool likes all of your numeric columns to be right next to each other. So that means our new columns have to be over to the right of column C. So I'm just gonna insert a few columns right now and see what we can do. Okay, so the first column, we're gonna create a sex numeric or sex Boolean. And then we'll have smoker boolean. And these should be fairly easy to figure out. So I'm just going to put a real simple if statement in here. Equals if that equals female. Then one else zero. Ah, and here's where I get a little bit mixed up because I've just been working in SQL, which requires the single quote. Excel wants me to have a double quotation mark around my text fields here. So I put that in and then I can um, fill that in. So all my females are ones, all my males are zeros. I can do the same thing with smoker equals if. That field equals smoker. Then one else zero. All right. So now we want to figure out what to do with our region. So we've got southwest, southeast, northwest, and northeast. So I could say, well, let's make southwest region number one, southeast region number two, northwest region number three, and northeast region number four. All right. And that seems like a simple way to do it. It would uh, require us to have a you know nested if in here, but certainly doable. The problem is the way regression works with numeric data, it's assuming that a higher number means more of something. So really is Northeast four times as good a region or you know, a more of a region than Southwest or is Southeast twice the region Southwest is? So you get the idea here, a numeric um, value for a region doesn't make sense. Now there are some categorical values where there is some sort of a natural or implied order to the way things are listed, good, better, best might be um, an example of that that you may think about applying a numeric scale to, uh, to substitute. So if they're ordered, then there's a possibility. But in this case, we can't really say one region is you know better or you know more regiony than another. So what we need to do instead is create multiple, what we call dummy variables. So let's say Southwest. Southeast, Northwest, and Northeast. And then I'll just do a, an if statement for each one individually. Equals if that equals Southwest, 
then one else zero and that works here and let's see that's column C so we can lock that in but we don't want the row because we want the row to float with our formula all right so now I could copy that over here and just type in the appropriate category name southeast Make sure I spell them right, Northwest. And Northeast. All right, so now I can copy these down. And hopefully I just have one value turned on for for each of these. So Southwest, the other three are, are not selected. And I have 1,338 records. So if I select that entire range, yeah, my sum is 1,338. That's good. I only have one of each. Okay, so now we can run a new regression. And I'm going to put the result down here so that we can compare what we got the first time around. Go back to data, data analysis. Let's bring up regression. And it remembers what we did last time. I'm just going to clear everything so we can start fresh. So our Y range has moved over since we added new columns. It's charges. All right. And our X range has gotten a lot wider since we have all these new numeric fields to work with. So D1 through L1339 for me. And now we want to figure out where to put the output. And uh, we can start that at U40. So let's go ahead and do that. And I think we're good to go, so I'll click OK. And the regression runs. And I'm going to uh, go ahead and delete our work here for now. Just so we have everything a little bit closer together. All right, so, so this is regression. And it, at this point, it's not a bad idea to start labeling your regression runs so you remember what you're doing. Uh, age, BMI, children. All right, now this one, we're doing um, sex, Boolean, smoker, Boolean, Southwest, Southeast, Northwest, Northeast, Children, Age, and BMI. All right. So look what Well, I did smoker wrong here, so let me fix that. So smoker shouldn't be smoker, it should be yes. So if uh, yes, Okay, that looks a little bit better. All right, now let's run that regression again. Yeah, we can leave everything the exact same. 
All right. And then we'll move things up. I should have moved uh, the output, but that's fine. We'll move things up so we can see. So we can do a little comparison. All right. So now look at what happened to our R squared. It's gone way up. It is all the way up to 0.75. Our F value has gone way up. It's over 500 now. So the significance is so small that uh, Excel doesn't even keep that many places in its uh, floating decimal point numbers. All right. And our coefficients have changed. If we look at uh, children age and BMI, those are the ones we had before. Children has gone down. Age has gone up and BMI has gone up a little bit. So you can see as you add or delete attributes from your regression, the actual coefficients and the magnitude of uh, the coefficient for various attributes may change as well. So each attribute may have something in common with another attribute as far as their effect on the target value is. All right, so now our intercept is a lot lower, and we've got uh, sex boolean 131. Look at the smoker boolean value, 23,848. So that's, that's a difference. Now, the thing to keep in mind here is we only have two values for smoker boolean. So both these booleans, we only have a value of one or zero, and same thing with southwest, southeast, northwest, and northeast. So... That means that there's only, you know, a small increment there, one unit that we can move. So that one unit covers every, you know, the entire range of possible changes for that variable, as opposed to some of those other ones like age that goes from 18 to 70 something, BMI, uh, all the way up into the 50s. So something to keep in mind. All right. So now let's go down and see what is going on here. The yeah, p-value for smoker is uh, super small as well. So we've got southwest, southeast, northwest, and northeast. And this p-value can't be calculated. So what's going on here is we basically have one of these, and you can choose any one, that basically duplicates the information that's available from the other three. So we've got perfect overlap between one of these and the other three combined. So, for example, you know, if I if I know it's uh, southeast is zero, northwest is zero, northeast is zero, I know southwest is going to be one because one of those has to be selected. So, when you have categorical variables, you want to dummy n minus one of the category values at a maximum. All right. So we could delete one of these and let's look. Southeast has the lowest coefficient. That means southeast. Uh, the southeast region has the lowest healthcare costs on average. All right, followed by southwest closely, and then a bump up to northwest and northeast. The cost of living's uh, a little bit higher in the northeast, so that kind of makes sense. All right, so let's see. Uh, instead of um, keeping all four, let's get rid of the one that has the lowest value, southeast. That's our baseline, and that means all the others should then end up uh, having positive coefficients. All right, so we'll run our regression again. Data. Regression. All right, so I have to adjust my input Y range is now column L. So I'll just um, go to my charges and choose them. My X range now goes from D1 to K1339. And let's change the output range. Otherwise, we'll write over what we already have here. Well, let's stick that right down here to 
yeah, T58. And run our regression one last time to see what we get. And I can copy my regression coefficients here, or predictor variables, and just delete southeast. All right, so interestingly, our R squared is exactly the same. And that makes sense because our R squared value is based on these four variables, one of which overlap the other three in information. So by removing that, we didn't really lose any information. Now you can see the adjusted R squared went up 0 0.749, 0 0.748. And that's a good thing to keep an eye on because the closer these are to each other, the, the more robust your model is, the better your model is, uh, the less likely it is to be overfitting your data. All right. And then we can see the F value here. Uh, same value as we had before. And a super high significance level. But let's check the coefficients out. Yeah, so the intercept is different now. The number for sex boolean has stayed the same. Smoker boolean, same. Um, now, because we don't have southwest as a coefficient or as a, a variable in our equation, we have new coefficients for southwest, northwest, and northeast. They are all positive. Children, uh, okay, 475. And again, that is a lower effect than we had with just the three original numeric features. Age, 256, BMI, 339. And now we can start looking at our p-values or in our t-stats, I guess, to look and see which ones of these we think may not be providing much information. So these with high p-values, here we can see sex does not seem to provide a lot of information, nor does the region Southwest. So we remember Southwest was pretty close to Southeast in cost. So Northwest is a little more expensive and we're at 0.15 there. So that's one where, you know, we may want to think about everything else is below our 5% cutoff range, which is a guideline, but not necessarily a hard and fast rule. Uh, sometimes we can let it float a little higher. As a matter of fact, a lot of uh, models may even take, um, uh, for for machine learning, may even accept up to 0.1 or uh, higher if it helps the model. So we would uh, evaluate that, maybe eliminate Southwest first and then rerun. Because when we rerun, remember both our coefficients and our p-values for each remaining attribute, predictor attribute, may change. Uh, they may go up, they may go down for each individual attribute. So we want to uh, keep an eye on this. And it's possible that uh, after removing Southwest, Northwest does become statistically significant. So the only way to find out would be to run several iterations and see what you find out, and then uh, pick the model that gives you basically the most bang for the buck, a good R-squared value uh, without an R-squared that's too different uh, with as few variab variables as you can. So the rule of uh, parsimony here, trying to keep your model as simple as possible while providing good value. All right, so that is handling categorical variables. Let's get back to the module and see what we want to do next.